How's it going everyone? My name is Multi Necroman and today guys I'll teach you how you can actually boost your FPS in League of Legends. So I know I already have two videos on this topic guys which is FPS boost or improvement but today I'll show you the most you can do to actually boost it and increase your FPS and guys trust me on this one and believe me if you do this tutorial and you don't get an FPS improvement trust me on this one guys you need a new PC. So if you don't see anything changing with your game or something, if it even goes worse, but it's kind of improbable to, to do that, just buy a new computer, guys. It's so much you can do with software, you, you need the hardware, you know? So yeah, I can do much if your PC is literally shit. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Let's hit 700 likes, guys. It will make my day so much better. And I hope you guys will get an FPS boost from this. So let's see how it goes, guys. Thing on our list, guys, is to go into the first link of the description and check Coder Bag. And there is a program called Unpark CPU. This program will make your CPU run actually smoother or faster. Call it however you want. It will make your PC blow basically so download this program by just clicking this download application executable files and then you will see this on your desktop so now that you have this on your desktop right now guys make sure you right click it and make sure you extract to unpark cpu then this folder should pop up and then if you open it if you open it you have these things inside of it so make sure you click the unpark cpu the application one check the status wait for a second so after you've got these guys make sure you click unpark all because as you can see there are all parked make sure you unpark all guys and when you've done that you need to restart your computer to actually see the changes after you've restarted your computer go into league see how it works if you have more fps that's a good thing keep it if it goes even worse make sure you come again on this program make sure you click on park all so it goes everything back to normal so after you unpack your cpu guys you want to actually increase the windows performance so to do that you have to press on your home button and then press s at the same time this thing should pop up and type it in uh, performance and this thing should pop up guys the power option should pop up click it and make sure and uh, this is set to high performance it might be like show additional plans click here change it to, to high performance that's how you do it guys that's how you, you make your computer run faster the windows itself but if you have a laptop guys i don't know if this is recommended because it will fuck up with your power source so if you have a laptop i'm not sure about it you, you should keep it on balance i think but for the most pcs guys use high performance because it will help a lot so the next step guys is to customize your windows appearance because it can fuck up you to your performance guys so as you can see i have a, a transparent bar in, on the taskbar and that could be a problem because it, it actually drains more power from my computer to make it transparent see the wallpaper and things like that so you don't want to drain any kind of energy guys and to make it the most out of it guys make sure you press again the, uh, the windows button and s again and type in teams and after you click that click on the first thing which is change the theme and when you scroll down a little bit you have high contrast themes this is actually for the oldest pcs out there if you have an old pc an old cpu and gpu make sure you do this because this is essential guys any windows you have 8 10 7 anything you have if you think your pc is bad as hell make sure you click one of these and choose one so you have the best performance on the windows but if you don't want to have the shittiest team on windows guys i have another option for you so after you you've done all of this except changing your team make sure you click right click your uh, button right in the left corner and make sure you go to the system on the system guys you should press advanced system settings and to here you just see the advanced tab and under performance click on settings this is the most performance that you can get on this thing so basically guys what you have to check uncheck what it uncheck right now and this should be the best but if you want to have your own things or if you just want to the best performance just click adjust for best performance and it will automatically 
just delete all of them and it will kind of make it look shittier but you still have your bars your team things like that but if you want to have a nice windows and still have few features of uh, of, uh, of the windows and that don't drain a lot of power just follow my th my things right now So as you can see guys, I unchecked most of them, you have like 4 left or something like this. But when you unchecked all of the rest, this is what you get and this is the most you can do and have a nice windows but beside it, you know. So if you have these settings, it will make your PC look nice and have some kind of performance, you know. So make sure you do this if you want to have a nice windows. If you think the, the high contrast themes are good enough for you, just change it to that. It will make it way, way more faster than this option. So the next tip I have for you guys is to actually defrag your hard drives because with time they kind of get used and they need some kind of cleaner to, to make sure they run okay. And to do that guys, to open the defrag program that you already have in Windows because it comes with the Windows, you don't have to download anything. Just press again the Windows key and S again, just type in defrag and this thing should pop up if you click the, the first option. And as you can see guys, there is an option where you can actually schedule an optimization. I have it on and it's weekly, you can make it like daily, something like that, I don't actually think it's good to make it daily because it actually will flush way too much data and it will fuck up with your hard drives so make sure you actually do it weekly or at least between three days something like that or if you want you can do it two weeks any program you want you just click on change settings and here you have everything you can choose so make sure the c drive is actually going to be the one that is on the optimization thingy not the d drive or any other drives you have make sure on the one you have the windows on make sure that one is defragging all the time weekly or anything you set it to so this is one way one great way to make sure your hard drives are running good because your hard drives actually have some kind of speed to make your game make it way better you know things like that so if you want to actually optimize it right now just click optimize it will start to defrag you just have to wait but if you have the schedule on it will do it for you and you won't even notice so that's kind of cool guys so what you want to do is to go on where you installed your league of legends files i have no idea where you installed it just search for it and when you find it click on the league of legends click on the config and there is a, a cfg file which is called game make sure you right click it open with and uh, more apps make sure you open it with um, notepad and uh, just click ok here so scroll down try to find resolution your resolution should be in first things as you can see i have i have it here on the general tab so if you want your hate and uh, read it if you don't you, if you're not familiar with these things i'll just make it clear for you guys these things should be set to 800 and this thing should be set to 600 so you have it here like this but one more improvement could be your colors you have 30-bit colors but if you put it on 16-bit colors you won't see much of a difference but the game will see it like the fps you know so make sure your colors are on 16 make sure guys if you have a good pc good enough pc make sure you keep your resolution like don't change these two things make sure you only change your colors because the colors will improve your fps so so much but the resolution will change uh, will the resolution change will be good for you as well so if you want to do it do it is your it's your option guys i'm just saying if you don't want to your game to look crappier make sure you change only the colors but if your pc is bad as hell make sure you change both of them so after you've done everything i told you to do guys make sure you open league and make sure you create a custom game just click on play create custom and click on film start the game choose any champion you want it, it doesn't matter i'll just soraka lock in go into the game and uh, when you're in the game change your settings like i do right now so once again guys when you're into the game make sure you click on the s button and make sure you go under the video tab 
and there I'll tell you some settings that will help your game. So the resolution guys, let's look at the resolution first. If you change your resolution in the config file, which is the previous, the last thing you've done to the game, make sure you keep it as well. It might not show a number here, it might not show everything. So just keep it that way, don't change it. But if your resolution is set to max like mine right here, which is 1080p, you should change it down to like, I don't know, 720p, which is down here. It will make your game way, way better, but it will take from the quality again. So once you're, once you're there, make sure you click here, change it to 720p, you're good. Make sure you hide eye candy because as you can see, it disables ambient creatures and effects. So that's point for you guys. And uh, make sure you're always on full screen mode because this thing will give you the most FPS. If you have it like boardless or windowed, these two options are actually for streamers so you don't have to bother about them. Just click on the full screen, make sure you have it full screen and you're good to go. These things, these two things, you can check it, you can uncheck it. It, it won't change any FPS if you wonder about that. So moving on to the character quality. The character quality guys, you might have it set to very low but that's a bad thing because you need a little bit of quality very low is not always the best thing you can do for fps if you want your game to look actually decent and still have some fps make sure you reset it on low it will kind of give it a, a little tip of performance and a little tip of nice looking you know so next thing you have to change is the effects call this one make sure you set it to very low if you want to have the most out of it and it will still look kind of crappy but you have what you have because effects are all of this game you know so you have effects everywhere guys it will just it will just improve a lot if you set it to very low the environment quality guys again it has to be on very low because environment quality is the map quality so if your map quality is set very high it will take up your fps the shadows of course have to be low and character ranking might be an improvement for you guys might not it's your option if you want to have it you can have it if you don't just don't it's your choice but just so you know the the black bars these black bars are the ones that I'm talking about. This is the character linking. If I disable it right now, you see I have the black bars around here. So that's that's kind of it, guys. That's what this character linking does. It's all it does. So you can have it. You can don't. You, you shouldn't have it. It's your option, guys. It's literally your option. On the frame rate cap, guys, make sure you're always on uncapped. Never cap your FPS, guys. It's bad unless you're streaming. If you're streaming, set it to 144 FPS. It will kind of help your game a little bit. But if you're not streaming, make sure you have it uncapped, guys. It will help the game so, so much. If you have this wait for vertical sync checked like this, make sure you uncheck it immediately and you'll see an FPS boost like no other, guys. This thing just takes up way too much and it costs way too much performance to have it so it doesn't do anything it just costs performance i don't know why they have it in the game it's just there and anti-aliasing this will help your uh, visual quality but it will fuck up with your fps so much so i if you have a bad pc because that's why you're watching this uh, just uncheck it uh, if you have, if you add a little bit of the detail with the very low things you can have it but it will take a lot of performance so yeah that's kind of it one little tip that i have for you guys is to disable all the sounds if you disable all the sounds as you can see it even says here disabling all sounds might improve performance which is true if you disable everything you'll have kind of a bit of improvement of performance believe me or not i this is a best pc i have right now the best pc i ever had in my life so uh, before this i had two bad pcs and on them i never played with uh, lead sound so yeah that was kind of kind of sketchy for me if you ask me so uh, disable the sound to increase some performance and uh, on the interface make sure you never have um, these hard animations if you have these hard animations make sure you disable it 
fucks up with your performance so much and as you can see it just jiggles these two things and it does nothing to the game so it, it, it might fuck up with your things a little bit but uh, yeah so that's kinda it guys that's everything for today I hope you guys got an FPS boost from this tutorial I hope you guys like this video because as I said I'd like 700 likes guys it will make my days way way better guys you have no idea so yeah that was kind of it for today i hope i helped you guys i hope you will see you tomorrow as well because i have a new video i have daily uploads so make sure you're there when i upload because it will mean the world to me so i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video thank you for watching i'll see you guys A hop if you wanna just bounce to my leverage The evidence, as they say, is in the pudding So show me the money like my name is Cuba Gooding It ain't fool's gold, it's gold, fool Can't stop, won't stop, keeping it old school